trying to pick things up where he left Leading off. Number 12. Right one for fielder. two with a double on Number the ledger 12. so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Cut Count fastball inside. Ball one. On its way is pitch number 75. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Here's the 2 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. I like that pitch right there. You know he's keyholing you 2 0, and you put one right on the corner. He's not going to swing at it. And now all of a sudden you're back in the count again. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, he doesn't have any walks yet. He's going to have to come in the zone right here and really avoid throwing that first walk of the game. He's set. Here's the three-one. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. No walk so far. Here's the three two and that's lifted the other way out to left and there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Now batting, Digging in once again eight. James he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And a slider oh, tails there. outside for ball one. Fifth inning two to one our score. A strike to even the count one and one that pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun yeah Matt we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that especially these days that can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and a neck high fastball that time. He's set. Here's the two two and he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez I mean that now fastball batting. was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Standing in now, number 22. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Forsyth has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. And now is Yasiel Puig. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right Matt you're spot on whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully here's Santana right back at it now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man it's 0 and 1 Zero. swing and a miss and he's in trouble now 0 and 2 you know when a guy starts to get tired you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out but that's not the case here still has really nice finish on that slider as we just saw. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Ready on one and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't batter, used it yet five. in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses Corey it, pulls the Seager. string, and gets the big strikeout.
Here's Corey Seager. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Small, ranging up the middle. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Justin Turner. Digging in and looking for more, Justin Turner. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. This is popped up. James has got it, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They're down 2-1. Digging in to try it again. Big dog, Decky. One for two with a double Big on his dog. line thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Forsythe. And on one pitch, he's retired. Now batting, number 21. Ready for another chance. Mays. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now here's the pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. Oh, what a good slider down the way. And I'm telling you, late in the game to throw that pitch with that type of precision, man, your manager feels good about the decision of leaving him in. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Barnes has it, but no chance to recover. Mays is on it first after the strikeout. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Small. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. 0 and 1. Here it comes. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Now batting. Number 11. Riding in once again, number 11. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Digging in once again, Eddie Rosario. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does a good job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch how he pitches on the corners and tries to get himself out of this. Outside for a ball, one and one. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, but if he gets through this inning, I think they'd be happy with it. To get through six innings and just a little over 100 pitches, I think that's pretty good at it. Brown ball left side. Turner has it. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. Twins strand a pair. They still lead it 2-1. to one.
Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Ready for another shot now, number 35. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Now the 0-1. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So it was a strikeout looking no there. Number, number 35 that becomes the hitter. first out of the Young inning. Money Grandal. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First offering on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. The 1 0 delivery. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. He's pitching him with the respect of the power hitting left hander that he is. If you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me the opposite direction. I like the strategy. Right side hit hard. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Late in the game, you're losing by one. He's it? a potential time run there. now. But he can't run. He's not very fast. Are you going to pinch run for him or are you not? That's the big question. In is Curtis Granderson. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And, and the big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. 0 oh 2, here it comes. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready with another 0 2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run now over batting. at first base. Second now, base. with two outs, Logan. it becomes a lot more Four difficult five. to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Now with the plate, Logan Forsythe. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the 1-0. Out of play. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning stretch upcoming here in the Twin Cities. It's the Twins two and the Dodgers one. Number 46 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 46. Ready once again. Big Daddy 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. And he lays off for ball one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him miss pitches that are right there in a good hitter's location very often. Here's the one and two delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Barnes gathers the throw down to first, one away. Now batting. Number Stepping 12. into the box, number 12. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he misses oh, inside with that one, ball one. Set and the 1 0 pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Barnes finds it, but the throw is late, and he's aboard after the strikeout. So good awareness that time, as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. At the plate, James, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. That's lined in to left. He left that one up. It's a base hit. First pitch breaking ball. He was sitting on that the whole time looking for it the whole way. You don't hit it that hard on first pitch if you're not. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose. In now number 22. And this one's in the dirt. No movement on base. It's ball one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Puig racing back. He makes the running play. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Striding in, big dog Decky, two outs and two runners Decky. aboard here in the seventh inning. Nope. Ball one. This is the guy they're going to have to be careful with. He could put three runs on the board in a hurry. So expect them to try to get him to chase something out of the zone if they can. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. In the dirt here. The runners will hold, but meanwhile, the count moves to 2 0. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Now, that high fastball right there, it looks like you can just reach out and touch it. It's right at eye level, and you go to swing, and it's by you. It is the biggest deceptive pitch, I think, in the game. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. 
Ooh, that's one he wants back right now. Man, it looked like his timing was perfect. He just didn't barrel it up. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Twin strand a pair as they're unable to add to their 2-1 to -one lead. Settling in now, Leading Austin Barnes. Dodgers. He'll start Catholic. things out for us here Austin in inning number eight. Barnes. Trevor May has been please. summoned from the bullpen now as he'll do so to twins. start the eighth. Number 65, Trevor May. High strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Well, both starters are out of the game, but you know it's so different today. Now you almost want to get to the bullpen before you extend that starter. At least that's how it seems most managers play it these days. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. The 0 2 delivery. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And a dive, but he can't pull it in out in right center. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Finally, a little something for them to get excited now, about. Yeah, a rally center can begin with the single swing Wait. of the bat, and this Same might way. be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh and one count and the pitch a good knee high changeup taken for a strike he's in a tough spot right now Owen two this is one of those at bats you look back and you go I got to get the man over but now Owen two you just got to try to make contact now here it comes Owen two hit well on the ground to first and he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third the right fielder number 66. Digging in, Yasiel Puig, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. A swinging bunt to the mound. A play at the plate, but not in time. And just like that, this ball game is tied. I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch right there. Big hit to tie this game. Corey Seeger. Stepping up now, Corey Seeger. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Justin Turner is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. 
And that one stayed too low, apparently. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. Digging in, number 35. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His first homer here in the series. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Yosmani Grandal will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher for coming twins. on, and it looks Number to be nine. the right-hander, Matt Belisle. Matt Belisle. <laughs> Ripped on the ground to first. To his right, James. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. So it's four runs on four hits, no errors, and no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Dodgers lead this one 5-2. to two. Brandon Morrow now pitching is on to pitch out of the bullpen Number in the bottom 17. half of the eighth. Brandon Morrow. So digging in now, Mays. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Number 21. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. And now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3-2. and two. Wow, talk about a race pitch on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. So coming to the plate, small he successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance he's set and the pitch tough pitch to lay off the slider stays high for ball one well with the leadoff man getting on right there Matt they are falling so far behind they have to capitalize they have to get some runs to get back in this thing here comes the 1-0 and 
the third baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats. He's set. Here comes the one one. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Moro readies the one two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. Number if he 11. hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Into the box now, number 11. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0 1 takes a knee high fastball. Ready with the 0 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Ready now, Eddie Rosario. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Look, Matt, he's nibbling. He's nibbling. I know he's upset he didn't get those pitches, but they just miss off the corner. He can't give in now. Just continue to nibble. Swing and a liner, but foul. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One left for Minnesota. They trail 5 2. A shot there of St. Paul, Minnesota, just down I-94 from where we are as we're set for the ninth inning in this one. Clean it is Curtis Granderson. He'll be charged with trying to Curtis get on board, Granderson. leading off the ninth. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-0 home now to Granderson. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. Pitch on the way. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. And he's safe. Wow, that was a crazy at bat. He swung at every pitch out of the zone. Now, finally got a pitch Second in the eight. zone and drilled it for okay. a hit. Sometimes it's better to swing than to take. Stepping in now, Logan Forsythe, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the 0-1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Now batting. Catcher. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The 1 0 delivery. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Mays moves over. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. 
also striding in. Chris Taylor. He got Chris on top of one and Taylor. was a ground out victim last time. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A runner on first with two away. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one and two pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Granderson rounds the corner and is headed home. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. That's the difference between average and good hitters. Good hitters right almost field, always take advantage field. of RBI That's opportunities the when they Three. present themselves. He does it here, and the lead is now four. In now is Yasiel Puig as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. And he misses two and one. Lifetime versus this arm. He's gone two for five. He's set and the two one pitch on the ground to third fielded cleanly throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired only one in the inning here for the guys in blue on now to the bottom of inning number nine it's the Dodgers six and the twins two Pedro Baez a right hander standing six foot even will take over the pitching duties here Pedro Baez so striding forward now, Big Daddy, he's the one to start things off with his guys in danger of seeing this series leveled at a game of peace, barring a ninth inning rally. Hit the other way out toward right field. Puig's got a read on it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Number 12. At the plate, number 12. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 and 0 now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. 2 0 pitch on the way. High in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Taylor. Two gone. Now batting. Number eight. Now at the plate, James. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, that's such a great pitch for the pitcher. It's so hard to lay off a changeup when you're looking for the fastball on the first pitch. And clearly, he was looking fastball. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0 and 2. Drill down the line. Oh, look at Turner. What a play. And just like that, this one is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the sundae. Exclamation point. I love it. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game.
And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. The Los Angeles Dodgers have evened up this World Series at one game apiece. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show.